Hello chums, it's Tori here and we are back with Murdered Soul Suspect. Um, before I get into this game I just want to say I'm really sorry for the lack of video updates. Normally I try and make a video every day but I am currently in the throes of getting packed to move to South Africa permanently and I'm so stressed out with that that I just don't really have time to sit down and record. But I've made time today. If there's not another video up tomorrow after this one then the next video probably won't be until Wednesday when I've actually settled into South Africa and everything's unpacked. So just bear that in mind if you're wondering where all my videos are or why I'm so lax at getting them up, uh, uploaded. I can't speak today, I'm so like tired. Anyway, let's carry on. We were going out the buildings. We had to go find the tenant of this house, weren't we? Where's, why is my FPS struggling? What is going on? Yeah, are you going to jump off? You're a ghost, it won't hurt you. I still hate heights. I hate heights too, actually. So, I feel you, buddy. Okay. So, yes, we have to... The witness is my only lead. I need to find her. That church is my best bet. Oh, this is an investigation. Oh, I think I remember this part. Wait, what's this? Why is this a picture of... Oh, review, review my life. Today, everything died for me. Oh, okay. Thinking about it is so surreal. I instantly have an out-of-body experience every time. Seeing myself at that moment, after she tried to break up an argument between two men on the street, two strangers to her, one of which would stab her for no reason at all. She died for trying to help, and the asshole got away. If I'd arrived to meet her just one minute earlier, my life would have been different. Better. And she wouldn't have been gone. Aw, oh, that's really awful. So she was trying to be a good person and break up a fight. Seriously though, two people are arguing and they look dangerous. Why would you go and break up the fight? Harassed by Baxter. Oh god, not the one. Rough day, at, uh, rough day at work for my man. It took a while for him to be able to talk about it, but this Baxter fellow seems to be completely hostile towards Ronan and there's nothing he can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan has never done any anything to offend him, but Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was and there's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. No, you cannot. Some people are just ignorant and stupid. Have you guys got anything to say? Face it. Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges, but Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. Oh, uh, so I guess they're thinking Baxter killed me. Cops wonder if Baxter hated Ronan enough to kill him. Well, I don't think he could have been in two places at once, though, could he? Because we sort of died and he turned up pretty soon after, didn't he? Hi. I don't want to... Oh, there's a ghost down there. How do I run? God's sake. I've only haven't, I haven't played this game for about three days and I've already forgotten all the controls again. Hello. You seem to be in distress. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but... It looks like you could use some help. I, I, I don't know how I got here. Or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and... See if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people. And this rowboat. I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mana Hansen. That's a start. Let me see what I can do. Oh, Ronan's such a kind soul. He really is. It doesn't look like she remembers much. I wonder what the name Monahan it refers to. Okay, well, there's lots of shit here. Let's reveal stuff. This is her obituary. She died when a rowboat capsized and sank. Her body was not. Girls, it says she was in a rowboat returning to the sinking Monahan right before she drowned. Okay, so what well, the Monahan was a. Oh, she was returning. 
Witness view of eyes. Witness only saw the suspect's face briefly. Much of face obscure, but suspect appeared to be white male, blue eyes. What? Oh, this isn't to do with this case, is it? <laughs> survivors of the Monaghan's steamer wreck. A picture of the survivors, blah, blah, blah. We know that. I kind of just repeating myself, but I like to read all the information. No. You will be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. The note on the flowers reads, you will be deeply missed, you are a hero to us all. Yes, we know. I'd let Ronan say it, but he's too slow. Looks like a memorial of some kind. Hmm. I wonder if it has anything to do with the girl. Just this around here. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. Is there anything else we're missing? Hang on, how many... If we try and find the answer, how many are we missing? Or is, oh, we've, we're missing one. Okay. Is there something on the beach? If she got washed up on shore? Oh, hello, what's that? Let's go have a look. Oh, what's this? This spot overlooks the favoured launching point of many privateers who operated this, with tacit permission of the Continental Navy during the Revolutionary War. Salem was the primary harbour for heavily armed and fast-moving ships that would attack Royal Navy ships as they attempted to apply pressure to the neighbouring part of Boston Harbour. Oh, uh, I mean, O-R. Ah, no, don't fall in, you little bitch. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. What's this? Oh, not another one. She took your photo. It's hard to put into words the happiness Julia brought to my life. Oh, God, this is just tragic. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Oh, not another one. The pictures we took of the beach came out surprisingly well, considering it was almost dark. The one I got of Ronan just as the sun was setting was brilliant. It wasn't much for catching Ronan's features, but my, what a silhouette, silhouette that man cuts. He makes everything around him look good. Salem could use that shot to set itself as a beach resort. God, why don't you just kiss his ass while you're at it? Fucking hell. <laughs> she really is trying hard, isn't she? Oh, wait, hang on. A bunch of candles were left over the years. Most of them look like prayer candles. Oh my god, seriously, how did I not see that? Okay, have we got all of them? Da da da, it seems to. How did the lady on the beach die? Okay, so is there an order or does it not matter? Newspaper obituary, I suppose, would be important. Um, a beachside memorial? No. Oh, come on! Neither do the other ones. What are you talking about? He says, neither does that... That, that, that doesn't tell me how she died. I'm sure bouquets of flowers and various candles doesn't tell you how she died either, so shut the fuck up. Sorry, I get very arsy when he's like... Okay, let's try that. Because that actually had a message on it, didn't it? She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. Aww, tell her, Ronan. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the Mono Hanset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone... Then, how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim. So I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No, don't be. Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. Oh, that's really sweet one. I like that one. The fact that she went out and saved everybody even though she can't swim herself and knew she could die. And did. Oh, bless. I get a little tear in my eye. St. Benedict's... Hey, I was reading. Okay, we're going to St. Benedict's. That's all we know. <laughs> oh my god, the FPS in the cinematics is going crazy. When you're running away, you need a sanctuary. A place where nothing bad can touch you. But you can never escape the questions. They follow you everywhere. I 
I need to figure out where the witness is. Okay. Well, didn't the... I thought the, um... Oh, no, he didn't, did he? The priest just said she could stay. He didn't say where. A saw. Yes. Need ten more to uncover the story. Oh, great. Oh. Hello. Oh, I can't go up that way. That's what it means, doesn't it? I thought there was a demon about to get me. Are there any demons at the moment? Can't see any. What the fuck? Ah! Oh god, I forgot I could do that. What does this say? What was that? Thought I heard a sound. Ooh, lady, ooh. What's he doing? I can't smell good. Did she find that creepy? Did she find this as creepy as I do? Oh, no, 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 no. She never knew. Where's the fun in that? So you stalked her. I was the only one who appreciated her. Not like all those strangers she met at the bars, those animals. That's why I had to get rid of them. I did it for us. What? Looks like one of them didn't go so quietly. No. They were all too drunk to put in much of a struggle. This happened while I was watching her. I didn't realize I had backed into a snowbank. I, I never smelled the exhaust. Suddenly I was here. To be honest, it's the best thing that ever happened to us. No more pesky walls or locks. Now I can watch her. Watch her every move. Forever. Creepy! Hello. Mr. Raven, have you got something to tell me? I is there a reason you're here? You're like jittering. What the fuck? Well, hello. Can't stop loving him. The man is who he is. I can't help myself. I tried to stay away, but to be sensible... No, to be sensible, to consider someone I could actually share a normal life with. But I find myself thinking of Ronan all the time, and I can't stop. Can't. This is it. This is what real love is. Oh my god, she just worships the ground he walks on, doesn't she? <laughs> She's so obsessed. We watched an old black and white gangster movie marathon together, night before last. I couldn't believe he'd never seen them. I loved the romantic parts, he loved the tough guy parts. When I bought him the fedora the next day, he looked confused but adopted it so quickly. It's just part of him now. I don't think he'll ever take it off. Oh, so Judy got him the fedora. Oh, here we go. That's the girl. Wasn't there a clue about the church and the apartment? There is. There was. Uh. Oh, God. My only lead, damaged wall, photos of witness. Oh, photos, wasn't it the photos of the witness? No. Fuck's sake. Fine then, the one that's actually about the church. Why? That's not, oh. Father, do you have anywhere that I could stay? Just for a little uh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old attic you can stay in for as long as you like. Staying in the attic? I better go check it out. If she's told us she can stay in the attic, where would that be? Well, usually the attic is up. Oh, God. No, I mean, when it says, what's the clue about the church? And then it goes, the clue about the church is the church. It, it just seems kind of too obvious to me. And I don't know. It just annoys me. Okay, so what's this one? We're going to be here forever. There's one promise I never regretted. Oh, the marriage. The best day of my life. We had known from the start we would end up here sooner or later. Oh. Rectory. <laughs> Rectory. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Third floor attic. Okay, well, now we know. Oh, my God. Oh, God, get away. He's got a hoover. <laughs> Nothing here, is there? No. Is it a cross? The power of Christ bloody compels you. Eight more. God fuck knows where they are. I never finished the last one, I think. Okay, we need to get in here, but... Oh, hang on, we can possess him, can't we? When she calms down, I'll go ask her why she needs to stay here. Okay, can I get out now? Yeah! Uh, oh, that's so... Old. Oh, hello, no. The attic must be up there. Find a way to the attic. Well, I'm guessing it's due to the cat, seeing it's, it's obviously... Seeing it's... I don't know. Pointing it out? <laughs> what 
what am I saying anymore? Ooh, I don't want to go in there, do I? I think if I stand in those shitty things, I actually get sucked into hell, so I best not. What's that? Nothing. Okay, another one. Who keeps leaving all this shit here? Oh, okay. Good for you, lady. I'm on a mission. Oh, hang on. Is there? Fuck. Oh, great. Let's try and get rid of this bastard. What? That's creepy. Run! Ah! Oh, fuck's sake! Fuck! Oh god, what do I do? I'm gonna die. Right, there we go. No, I pressed the wrong button again! Fuck's sake. Stupid fucking buttons. Can't fucking click them. Fourth million times a charm. Right. Right, thank you. Oh my god, I've never failed that much in my life. I can possess the kitty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I can still reveal shit. Okay, so she went up the elevator. Meow. <laughs> Let's go pee on everything. Meow. Meow. Ah, why'd I do that? I'm gonna go pee on your food now. Knock it over, knock it over, cat style. Okay, we have to go through here, I guess. Get down! Get down! Thank you. Pet me! Pet me! Pet me, please! Oh, this cat has got them acrobatic skills. Look at him go! Did we miss one? Well, that's kind of freaky. Like, if you walk past it, the camera just sort of zooms out. Where are we going? Were we just here? Oh god, I don't care. Let me go. Alright, okay, so we're going up here. Creepy ghost noises. And along here. Huh, we got skills to pay the bills. What? Okay, come on. <laughs> this cat is on a mission. I know I'm possessing it, but come on. Uh oh yeah. Da 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 look, I have the grace of a cat hair. Da 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 Go on, boing! Come on! There you go, you little fucker. Creepy noises. Meow. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, right down. Oh, and up again. Oh my god, this is just never ending. Okay, we're up. Now what? Ooh. Some more... Demons here. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, we want to go out that way, I guess. Oh, I guess we have to dispossess it because we can't... Oh, there we go! There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? I need to figure out what the witness knows. Okay, okay, so we have another thing here. What have we got? Let's, um... Let's play the thing menacingly. No? Oh, hello. Another thing. Another thing. Everything in this game is a thing. Any game I play, it's like, oh look, I found a thing. Is this started yet? Because nothing seems to be... Oh, influence. Well, I'll make a think about the bell killer. Okay, well, seeing as the, uh... The logic in this game is, click the thing that it's actually mentioning. The searching killer. Oh look! So get the hell out! Ow! God damn it, if you ever possess me again, I'll... I'll... You have no right to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. 
You can see me and hear me. Holy shit. You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't I the luckiest guy in the world. I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you. If anything, you owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you was horrible. And you... You saved my life, so... What do you want? Thank you, you bitch! Okay, question. Why would the killer be looking for you? I've only got one answer. Why bother giving me the choice? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Okay, looking for your mom. Looking for your mom? What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Okay, so... Um, do you know the killer? Let's just not Nandi Pambi this. I've seen my killer before tonight. Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. Yeah, you smart ass little cow. Okay, so where is your mom? She's probably dead. So where's your mom, kid? Yeah, that says it all. Probably dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. Oh god, uh, why are, da, 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 da. Okay, so why are you at the apartment? I don't want to go through all the stupid answers, uh, questions. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. <laughs> or, I used to, whatever. I tried. <laughs> My mother has been missing for a few days. I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. She's got a Star Wars badge. It says it's a trap. There. Okay, that's all I really care about right now. Um, why don't... Oh, God. Um, do I have to really ask everything? Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic. A profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. No pun intended. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book. And it's in her handwriting. Bell killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? Okay, well that's the last thing then. Oh my god. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you, always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom. But I can't live in one place for too long, or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. 
Okay. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life and okay, I can't pay that back, but your problems are your problems and mine are mine. There they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute. You bitch. Don't go yet. Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead. I'll handle it. Just leave me alone. What a bitch. Wait, I just want to say about that. The witness is powerful screen disoriented me. How is that possible? Okay. I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. No, really. There's gotta be another way down. No, really. Use the cat again. Okay. I can't lose track of the witness. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll start that. Okay, let's just start it just so it saves or whatever. Okay. The cat's just enjoying the moonlight. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed that, please leave me a like as it really helps me out. As I say, there might be another video tomorrow if I get round to it. Otherwise, it won't be till Wednesday because I'm obviously going to be moving on Monday and I'll be in South Africa on Tuesday and I'll probably need a day to set everything up and actually recover from the 12-hour pl plane flight thing. Anyway, thank you very much and I'll see you guys later. So, bye-bye!